Hey Junk Monkey friends, it is Sonya coming to you live this evening from our studio, Junk Monkey Studio here in Ligonier, Pennsylvania, just outside of Pittsburgh, PA. And it is day three, I had to look at my fingers. Yes, it is day three of the 30 day paint a piece of furniture a day challenge. So who's on here with me? Say hello as you join. Tell me who's been watching for the last two days and tell me who came back to watch for a third day because you're addicted and you're getting inspired and you're getting ideas, which is what this month is all about. We're calling it Transformation Month. So I promise, if you stick with us, if you, your friends, your family want to know how to paint furniture, I'm going to show you easy, easy ways that you can do it to be able to transform it through the use of what's called our Junk Monkey Paint. We love to make homes beautiful on a budget. This stuff sticks to just about everything under the sun, okay? Including, including you. Yes, including us. So you don't have the privacy and your prep, okay? So I'm going to show you how that happens over the next few days. And I'm going to, over the next month, okay, not a few days, month. And anyhow, I'm going to be live on here, so fire away with your questions. We're talking about furniture for the month of August. And look at this, guys. I am the proud owner of item number 164 right here. This is the sucker, the baby, the beauty that I took home with me from a recent auction that the husband helped me score. Say hello, babe. Because he's on here with me, too. He's the cameraman tonight. Konnichiwa. There you go. So anyway, this is the project we got going down. Give it up for a gorgeous, not really gorgeous, a super sturdy, wooden, brown, frowny, standard, plain Jane, run-of-the-mill, rocky chair. So what do you guys think? Get a close-up of this, right? Because there is nothing special about this chair, people. I think you just gave it a complex. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There this you go. This chair is going to need therapy. All right. Listen, we're going to give it some therapy. We're going to give it some pain therapy tonight. So tell me who's on here. I'm going to go ahead and get started real quick as Matt is giving some shout outs. And so he's my eyes and ears tonight. He's going to tell me who's on here Jennifer, watching. Jennifer Campbell, costume in the beginning on the third day. Yay! From hey, Columbia, quick. South Carolina. So what I'm doing, and I'll turn it over to you, babe, is so you can guys can watch what I'm doing. This is a crud cutter. So this is what I use to clean, okay? My favorite thing ever. I've already started cleaning this chair. And it's just a paper towel I'm using. You can already see the darkness that's on it. Do you catch that? Are you seeing it? It's because there's dirt on this piece, okay? So he's going to talk to you while I am doing this real quick. Say hello to wonderful Linda out in Oxnard, California. Linda! Oh, Linda, your paint shipment should be getting to you soon, girl. Yeah, Sam Cannon says hello. You Samantha. know Sam. Hey, girl. Yeah. So uh, Melissa says hello to both of us. Hello. Hello. Kelly, Kelly Sheet says, hey, almost missed you. Oh, well, you did eat. Kelly, we are glad that you are here with us, and I hope you're getting lots of ideas. Megan Foley's dropping in. Diane Stein is here. Hey, Diane. Uh, Shirley Wetzel's dropping in. Hello. Andy Malizia from Downington, PA. Heck yeah. Hello, hello. Steve and Tammy Eldreth are checking in. Yay, it's fun time. That's right. <laughs> Stanley and Cole. Super party fun time. I remember Gaylene from last Paint night. Time. With great questions last night. Yeah, bring us so, your questions. Uh, Fire away. Marianne Bilal Calhoun is checking in. Hey, girl. Yes. So Mar I'm just kind of dusting up this piece here, making sure everything is good to go. This paint will stick to everything, but I do like at least to give it a, a, a little wipe down because, like I said, stuff comes off on it. So I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and begin painting. For those of you who wonder what I just did, I flipped the chair upside down because let me tell you, okay, true story. If you want to start painting, the hardest piece of furniture that you can probably paint, painters will agree with me, is a chair or something like this that has a lot of spindles, okay? Because it's like you paint it one way and then you look the other way and you realize you missed a ton of space that you should have painted. So I love to get to the top because that's what's seen and that's, that's the eye candy of the chair, but I knock out the base first, okay? So I'm grabbing a, sh a um, what I call a shabby chip brush. You, you almost right said here. a bad word, didn't you? Uh, no, why? Uh, I think your mind's in the gut. I don't even yeah. know what you're gonna say. I thought you were going to A shabby chip brush. Yeah. Oh, I see where you were going yeah. with that. No. Seriously. Like, oh my gosh. Tell them what paint you're using today because they want to know the color today. Yes. Okay. So a rocking chair. You guys know I love color. If you've been in my shop, I love, love the color. I'm not afraid of it. So I'm going with a lavender blush tonight, which is a beautiful, soft lavender color. And here's a quick tip, okay? Light colors look great on darker woods. And I'll show you what I mean. Because tonight I'm going to show you some distressing and things like that that you can do to really bring it to life and give it a time-worn look. And it's going to look amazing, okay? You trust me? Do you trust me? All right. Ashley Flanagan wants to know, is it VOC-free? She needs to know before she goes. 
It's uh, very, can, yep. very low to, to low. non exactly. VOC. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Okay, let me do these shout outs real quick and we'll get into the contest. Okay, I want to say hello to Deb Shu and Jenny Pollock from Alco and Kelly Harvey Nye Nevis from Oceanside, California. Uh, Debbie's watching from Missouri. Uh, Barb's hey, Liz, hey, hey, Barb, what's up? Join us again. Uh, Jenny Trout says hello from the Trouts. Hi, man. Hello, Trout family. Uh, Dawn is checking in from South Carolina. We'll kill her tonight. We covered that. Debbie's from Waco, Texas. Ooh. Waco, Texas. Oh my God, can we be friends? Can we be like pals? <laughs> Seriously. All right. Seriously. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So tell us because we all want to know. Have you been to Magnolia Farms yet to check out the store of Juliana Gaines and Chip Gaines? Tell me right now. Okay? That's a softball question. And then message me and let me know if you have an extra bedroom. Okay, Lori Shaw. Hey guys, uh, Robin Galley. It's crud cutter. Nancy's checking in from the mighty Mississippi. Yep, here's our uh, crud cutter. If you Debbie want to check it out, Jacob, Jacobson share. Uh, Jennifer Cannon, hoping to win tonight. Yes, tell <laughs> me about our giveaway. That's a good reminder. Say hello to your brother. My brother Mark's on here. Yes. Hey Mark, how are you, bud? Say, say hello to your grandmother. I saw the fish that you've been catching up there. For those of you who are watching, don't know me. I'm from an island called Newfoundland. In Canada, I now make my home outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But let me just tell you, um, you know, home is always home. So I've been seeing on, on social media my brother and family out uh, fishing. And uh, this is the time of the year you can go out and you can catch codfish. And I'm so jealous, all right? So anyhow, Mark, I just wanted to let you know. I love seeing your pictures, bud. All righty. Rob was there a few years ago. Well, Where did we go? Son. Yeah, Magnolia Farms. Cool, I'm so jealous. So, that is on my bucket list, guys. Arkansas, Cole Township, PA, Teresa and Lisa checking in. Uh, Terry's checking in from Pittsburgh, Ohio. Cool. That's the Pittsburgh without an H and only one T. Um, Ashley, is it's it VOC Ohio? free? It's uh, minimal VOC to none. Yep. yep. Um, Robin Beck, was it? Yeah, I just saw it. See? I'm at Karen's in Mexico, Missouri. I thought you were from Mexico. Uh, yes. Natalie's checking in for Jeanette. Uh, Debbie Sanchez, yeah, sure. Hey, yes Debbie. to all. Yes to all. Hey, and by the way, here's a quick tip as well. Okay, when you're working with spindles, sometimes you see people paint up and down. Don't do that. It looks so much more nicer if you take it. If you, if you want to come up here, but maybe oh, I'll show Shelly's you close. watching us from good old Ligonier. Hey, Ligonier. Hey, we're right here. Okay, we're neighbors. real okay. quick. No, I gotta tell them this real quick. So when you're painting a spindle, don't. Can you come up here with the camera real fast right, so I can explain I'm it? I'm coming. I'm coming. Go with the spindle. Go around, okay? Go around the spindle. Hang on, let me bring it in. Bring it in. I bring need, it around town, it, baby. It, as creaky as my bones are right now, I need one of those backup arms. All right, you see what I'm saying? I'm going with the spindle, okay? So I'm working my paint around versus going long ways like this. Look how awful that looks. This is much more natural, okay? So I'm just letting you know that when you're painting spindles, go that way. I'm going to flip this upside down, but I wanted to get the bottom part because it is so hard to paint the bottom when the chair is in the upright position. Who else is painting a chair out there and knows exactly what I'm talking about? Tell me if that is you. And you know I'm not crazy, okay? Don't answer that, husband, because the husband. Linda Bowery, you cannot take pain across the border. They will hunt you down and beat you. Trust me. Yes. I, 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 I've made new, lots of calls. Trudy, we are located at 111 South Market Street, Ligonier, Pennsylvania, 165658. Uh, Mimi, Shane, is going to South Carolina again. We're open tomorrow, 11 to 4. Now, for the contest that I haven't yeah. been able to get to, we are giving away one jar of paint every night for the next 27 days left? Yeah. yeah 20, is, it'll be, yeah, 27. So we have 27 more jars of paint to give away. 27 more jars of paint to give away. What you have to do to win over this way? is share cool. this project while we're live and then be here when we announce the winner. At the very end? At the very end. You'll What's have tonight? two minutes to... Let us know that you're still here, or we move on to the next guy. Karen's checking in from Sarver. Hey, Karen! So, anyways. All right, so. Does Matt ever get FaceTime? You, hey, Lynn Jennifer, it, it's tough. <laughs> Let me explain to you. It's very tough to be the keeper of this luscious genome. I have a face for radio and a body built for tacos. <laughs> he's shy. You do not. You have, to cut, you have actually, he's been, I've got pictures of him 
on my face on my Facebook page before, but you'll have to come to see him, right? Yeah. He wants to be the international man of mystery. Now we yes. know that was Austin Powers, right? Yes. All right. You just want I'm to be just the man the of arm mystery. Candy. He just wants to be the man of mystery. Okay. Yes. Well, Shelly, you're in Lincoln here. Come on down, lady. Front row seat. Hey, Long Island's back. Hey. Did we ever find out if she met the Long Island medium? Is it our uh, friend? I don't think she did. She's from the same town as... Uh, that would be so Hicksville. cool. Who else watches that show? Nobody watches it anymore because it's not on anymore. Yeah, but you know what? It was so good. What's your face? Teresa. Okay. Teresa. Yeah, you, uh, know, you weren't into it. I was, but I wondered how she could actually function with the long nails. Well, I she don't know. didn't have to do any manual labor, that's why. You think that's why? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ashley's checking in for But Carlton, it was good for Michigan. hair poofiness. It was really poofiness, good for hair poofiness, yes. right? Uh, Lorraine's watching from Canada. Hey! So, oh, Linda has a friend in Scotts Township. Oh, you better send her. So, anyway, Jan <laughs> said she never met her. Uh, never met her. Irene's checking in from Texas. I know our Texas contingency is strong. They're on here. Hello, everybody. Hey, Texas. Indeed. You know, we have been so busy with our paint sales, and it is amazing to see how much paint we ship to Texas. So everything in Texas should be really pretty and lots of really fun colors going down there. Let me just tell you that. But uh, it's pretty cool to see our paint go all over the country. And uh, it's always fun to know where you guys are watching from, right? And see where this video actually lands on Facebook. Yeah, Dorothea is checking in from London, Ontario. Ooh, Ontario. Sandra and Santatina Lopez. Just checking in from Santa Ana, Texas. I sure am going to try and pay you guys a visit Yay. and buy some paint. Nice. So yeah, come by, say yes. hello, get inspired. I always say inspiration is free here at the Shabby Shop. Yeah. So guys, I didn't do anything with this piece. I just grabbed a, co a color called lavender blush, which is a really pretty light lavender color. Very light. It's gonna be gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's really really light. It's a light light purple. Tiffany from New Jersey. And I'm kind of imagining this imagining this piece in a nursery. Even like, how cool would that be, right? So I'm just going to keep knocking this out. I do the base first because that's the boring part. But I know I've got to do it. Remember, paint around your spindles. Just like this. And I didn't have to prime. I didn't have to sand. All I did was, and I didn't even have to like strip anything, right? I just uh, cleaned it with a little crack cutter. And uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and, like I say, grab a brush and go bananas. So who has a rocking chair out there that needs some love? So, and uh, that, uh, you know. Yeah, Gaylene, no, we did not sand. You just apply yep. this paint straight on, no sanding needed. Nope. Actually, Denise uh, Reed says she has a rocker just like this. Yeah. And it needs to be painted. Yes, my oh dad my gosh. rocked us in it. It's Heck very yeah. special. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's cool. very, yes. very nice. Yeah, yeah. Debbie so Boyer totally. from Michigan, Kay Clark, coming your way Saturday. Hey, Michigan. You're coming uh, this way Saturday? No, cool. this is Kay. She's coming this way for the farmer's market. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'll be in the shop uh, on Saturday. Alex checking in from Toledo, Ohio. Nice. Hello, Ohio. And Teresa Myers, Ruby says she has the same rocker. Yep. And Denise checking in from Fit, Missouri. Uh, Steven, Steven, Tammy Kemp, Eldra said, yes, I do. Do what? So, what question you asked earlier? Don't ask me to repeat it because oh, I can't Oh, we need a rocker? Yes. Okay, all right, all right. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Eileen, See how, like, the Eileen Trotter, who has been joining us the last couple of days, yeah. said my daughter's gender revealed tonight was for a girl, and her no. color will be lavender. Wait, See, that See? was the universe. Yes. It was like telling me to like just go with purple. Congratulations! Oh yeah, my gosh. absolutely. Send some gra congratulations over to Eileen. Very, very nice. How did you guys do the gender reveal? That's so popular now, isn't it? Like people are doing like different balloons. Um, they're just all kinds of just really really fun and uh cool ways to be able to reveal to your friends and family back in, my, back in my day the gender reveal happened when it came out <laughs> <laughs> i i think there still are people out there that if you want they will not tell you yeah um what you're having yes i remember the days when doctors wouldn't tell you what you were having because they could you know, get sued yeah, yeah you go out and you totally decorate your nursery and then, whoops, you ain't having a girl, you're having a boy, right? What do you do? Does anybody know that ever actually happened to? You hear stories about that, but yeah. Cool. All right, so I think the base is pretty much done. Nancy showed back from uh, Southern Cal. Hey, so Nancy. Robin Galley, uh, I have a similar rocker that my husband gave to me when pregnant with my first baby Aww, 37 nice. years ago. Very, Would love very to give it a makeover. Very, so, very. I nice. have a wicker chair that needs some paint. Yep. My sister-in-law, it was my sister-in-law's before she passed. Have you used your paint on wicker? 
Yes, yeah. we have. Yeah, absolutely. It'll yes. separate into it. Very, yes. very nice. Tammy's checking in from Phoenix. Hey, Tammy. I'm going to show you, by the way, how to distress this as well and show you some ideas of where I would put distressing to make it look naturally distressed. You guys know that I always say I'm a girl who loves distress, not to be in distress. And I'm in my shabby shop because I love things that look time-worn and old. I'm going to kind of get this way. And Kathy Corbett says, you might want to come this way. hi from Bright So Far. I will get there. You might want to get I'm, I'm going to be, I'm being sassy right now. You sassy, you sassy, sassy ass. Right. Sass -ass. I said, you know yeah. what, that's the ice cream you have. That's just sugar, right? Yes. See, you can't take them anywhere. Ice we went to the ice cream bowl. store and had sugar. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Kathy Corbett says hello from Bryce Hill, Florida. Sharon hey, Dust. Kathy. Uh, loving Come the 30 here. days of furniture brand. I'm getting there. I'm reading. I, can, I can't chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. I, I know. I will hurt myself. All right, let's do a test. Can you rub your uh, head and pat no. your stomach? No. No? No. Okay. no. no. Apparently you can't. No. All right. Well, no. cool thing. Yeah. All right. No. All right. All right. But I want to see them, how this transformation happens because it's so fun. I should have taken a before picture. That's what happens, right? You're so excited to paint it. I didn't even take a before picture. Now these are not spindles, these are long pieces, so I'm actually going to paint them long ways, Ooh, okay? No. Nancy, but where spindles. are you at that you can't go home because of a fire? What? Where, where's there a wildfire at right now? I didn't even know there was any right now. Oh. Maybe up in... Uh, Shelly says... No. Shelly uh, Belvo says hello again from Maine. She's checking back in, I remember. Hey Shelly, yep, I remember seeing Shelly on her page. Uh, Michelle Hernandez Raya says, she laughed. She said to me, we had a name picked it for a boy and whoops, my Lily was born. This oh, was 1992. No way. <laughs> and on my daughter's birth certificate, she was named Lillian Roxanne. <laughs> well, what was supposed to be her boy name? Do you tell her that all the time? So, here's a funny said. story. Um, when my youngest sister was born, uh, I was 10, my middle sister was 7, and uh, we were all trying to come up with names, right? And uh, we had names for boys and for girls. And my younger sister put in the uh, Mighty Dog, Dog Food just came out. And she loved the Mighty Dog commercial. So we put the names in the hat and the name in the, the name she put in the hat was Mighty Dog. And <laughs> wouldn't you know that the name, this is Julie, the name that got picked was Mighty Dog. So that's kind of been an inside joke that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, my sister's, uh, my youngest sister's real name is Mighty Dog. Her alias? Yes, absolutely. She also responds yes. to Mighty Dog. Mighty Dog, nice. yes. You'll have to ask her about oh that. Oh my gosh, that was the hardest pick of names. Yeah. We have one son, and um, yeah, it was like, I can remember nowadays, of course, my son is 17, so 17 years ago you wouldn't have had, you wouldn't really be going on Google, right? Nowadays, you can sit on the couch and pull up names, but I can remember going to the library and going to the bookstore. Oh, you had that giant, books. ridiculous book. What? No, that wasn't the name book. Yeah, it was. No, that was the uh, what to expect when you were No, you gave me a book. It was a name book, and it was a giant book yeah. with supposed names from different countries. Okay. And I've been to a lot of those countries. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you right now, 90% <laughs> of those names were made up. You Whoever wrote so? that, yes. Whoever wrote that was reading me. You know, reading <laughs> Lord of the Rings or Star Wars. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay. All right. I'll take your word for it. So. Trust me. I can't even think of half of the names now. Can't even think of it. But yeah, what's everybody up to tonight? Talk to us. Tell us who's with us. Michelle said it was supposed to be Eugene. That was the name. What? And she sometimes calls her that. No way. That's so funny. Oh, your sister-in-law, Jolene. Uh, hey, Jolene. Well, actually, I was about to tell a story, too. Um, I was going to say, my brother's still on here. He, uh, he might remember this. <laughs> don't hate me. Don't judge me. But yeah, so I'm the oldest. And then I have a brother and a sister, both younger than me. And uh, so when my brother got, I think right around the age of maybe like 12 or so, um, I pulled out the, uh, the book of, you know, the um, photo album. What do you call photo album anymore, right? It's like, oh my God, I don't think about it. Um, and he was, um, there was pictures of him being christened. And I told him that, uh, that it took uh, my parents a while to figure out that he was actually a boy, that they thought he was a girl. And that, yes, I remember that when he was born, that our parents used to dress him in dresses. And he was like, Mark, I don't know if you remember that if you're on here, but he would go to mom and be like, is that true, mom? Is that true? Did you really think that I was a girl? And I'd be like, oh yeah, I have the photo proof. 
I totally have the proof. And uh, my mother would be like, be quiet. I'm making your brother upset. So anyway. <laughs> my God, you were cruel. Is that evil? Yes. Come on. You were cruel. You know what? We all have brothers and sisters that we do stuff like that too, right? Hello, Megan. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, what did you call the baby? Oh, somebody's giving mean faces. That must have been your brother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, um, isn't that funny? Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, Mark. It's not like thousands and thousands of people will watch yeah, this yeah. by tomorrow. <laughs> so, oh, what did we name our baby? His name was Riley before it became a girl's name. Yes, he's not too happy now because Riley is 17, and uh, when we picked the name, um, there were no Irish Riley's. name. Yeah, there was yeah. no. It was, but we both agreed on that name. Didn't know anybody named right. Riley. And uh, as you know, in the last 17 years, Riley now is even a dog's name. I bet you there's somebody watching who even has a dog named Riley at this point. And uh, I can remember when my son was younger, he's like, why would you why would you name me a dog's name? I'm thinking, buddy, your name was your name way before everybody started calling their pets yeah. Riley, right? Yeah. So anyway, those are the joys of being a mother, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Try to give him a strong Irish name. Which, being Swiss, I wanted to give him a strength, strong Swiss name, but that backfired. <laughs> um, see, you know, like, you know, Hans, Hans, that's a good strong name. There's there's not enough Hans in the world. So, anyways, uh, a little Megan from North Carolina. Hey, uh, Carol said her oldest son's name is Knut Knutsen, which is family name. Sweden. Yeah. Swedes, like, Swedes like to do that. Everybody's laughing. So, uh, Michelle says torturous but hilarious. Jolene's <laughs> laughing. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. So. Trudy <laughs> we can't said, be friends if you don't like a little. Trudy little said she used to dra dress her brother up too when, <laughs> when he was born. Oh, that's awesome. I had a bunny oh that God. lived in my dining room. Hey, we don't judge here. Just it was named you know. Riley. That's funny. You had a what? Uh, Karen had uh, a bunny that lived in her dining room that was named <laughs> Riley. <laughs> And I so. bet it was the cutest bunny ever. Hey, Lois, what's going on? Hey, Lois. Um, Lorraine says, my youngest son is Sloan. Heard it as Ooh. a girl's name. He is 22 now. Yes, right? So. And they wonder, like, why'd you name me that? That's a good, strong name. I like that name. Yeah, well, Sloan. Remember Sloan from uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, my gosh, yeah. yeah. I totally that's forgot right. about that, too. Absolutely. Gabriel Philip Riley. That, that's, uh, I think my parents, my name is Sonia, of course. Duh. Yeah. But um, I think my parents, um, if I remember correctly, they told me that there was a there was a Russian figure skater. It's so funny when you think about where parents got their names. Sonia Henning. Because they couldn't yeah. go to, like I said, they couldn't go to Google or anything, right? So you watch TV. Oh, that's a cool name, right? Growing up in Canada, you watch a lot of figure skater, figure skating, which anybody loved to watch figure skating because I loved it. I loved it. Loved it. Maybe it was growing up in Canada that made me love it. I know the answer. Who's here? Dean Dan. Chip. Oh, Dean! Oh my gosh, we used to be neighbors way, way, way back when. So, way back when. Hello to Melissa. Uh, Kay says uh, her middle girl's April Dawn, so you can guess when she was born. Uh, <laughs> and April Dawn. So um, uh, the paint we're using tonight is called lavender blush. It's a yep. very, very light purple, and uh, it's our own paint, junk monkey paint. Share uh, to enter to win a jar yep. of it tonight. Uh, does it leave a lot of brush strokes? Well, if you're if going you for that, to. if you want it yeah. to, yeah. So, so yeah. if I didn't want brush strokes, what I would do, of course, I'm using a brush, which you guys know me, I, this is my favorite brush to use. Um, it's just a cheap brush, they're less than a buck. And so a lot of my furniture that I, I guess, you know, everybody has a love of what they like to do. So I do my style a lot, which is a shabby, worn look. I'm going to do some distressing on this and really bring it together. I'm going to show you how I do that if you stick with me. Um, but if you did not want this to be, I would put my, if you didn't want it to be distressed, I would go ahead and put my first coat. This dries. If I didn't do anything, of course, I have my handy, 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 dandy hair dryer tonight because it's no fun watching paint dry. But this piece would dry in about 30 minutes. And then I would pick up my brush and put on a second coat. The reason why this brush is awesome if you're looking for a distressed effect is because the bristles are hard and behind it, if you look up close, right here, can you, get, you pick that up on the camera, it leaves a trail behind it, okay? So it already looks older. It doesn't look perfect, right? So for me, I'm all about the imperfectly perfect look. So remember, a second coat would totally cover this over. The other option would be if you were to get a small, um, a small, what's called a mini roller, like maybe a four inch one, 
and you could use that because it will give you a nice concentration of color, okay? So you can do that look too. It's really up to you. But we do say you can just grab a brush and go bananas because if you saw me on here as I started, that's exactly what I did. Chatting with you guys, grab the brush, and putting it on. So. <laughs> yes, Robin says uh, her daughter was born two days before yeah. turkey hunting season, which my husband never misses. She did not have a name by day two, yeah. so the deal was was no turkey hunting until she was named. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we finally agreed. He sat on down. The name. And, uh, yep, there you go. Let's knock it out, baby. Let's get this so done. So Diane care. said you missed the inside of the spindle arm. That's why I have you on here, Diane. That was a test. <laughs> that was a test. Janice Remember said. I said spindles are Janice, terrible to paint. Let Janice from Long somewhere. Island. Yes. Said the Long Island medium told her she will win a jar of paint. Oh! That's cool, but I got to see That's what awesome. the iPad app says. Oh, the magic iPad. It's mm. like the magic eight ball. The name mixer. It's it's up to the name mixer. We'll we should totally says. get the magic eight ball. What's it, what's it called? Magic eight ball? I'm pretty magic sure it was, eight right? Ball, yeah. Oh, my God. Imagine the fun. You guys could ask us questions. We, we will tell you your future and your answers, okay? We'll let you know what it says. I once went to a thrift store and saw one, and I wish I had bought it. But uh, I think I asked. Do you remember that? I asked it, uh, will I find any good treasures? And it said, not today. <laughs> yeah, we immediately left. <laughs> so we left and I went home, right? But anyway, yeah, how fun is that? So I'm, I can put a little more color on here if I want, remember? Like I said, you can go over and you can darken it as much as you want. Now, you guys can be my eyes if you want and make sure I got all the spots. Tell me if I filled it all in. I'm working on it. Shelly uh, Bellevue from Maine says she wants to paint yes. her dining room table, but is conflicted on what color to paint it. She wants to go with a farmhouse Ooh, look cool. in her house, but her walls are a light gray. Okay. Any suggestions on color to paint table and chair? Ooh, nice. Uh, here's what I would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you like the, the like, for example, somebody messaged me yesterday and we're kind of asking, was kind of asking me the same question. And uh, do you guys like that look where you do the dark top and then your bottom is a different color? Mm -hmm. So for example, if you were to sand off entirely the top of your table and you're gonna stain it with whatever you want, let's say for example, whether it's a dark, dark brown, like espresso, if you wanna do that, you could totally do that, especially if you want farmhouse, maybe a dark, dark espresso color. And then for the bottom, because you have gray, but you want it to be farmhousey. Go with a color to paint your base, like that's a, maybe a grayish. A grayish is a combination of a very, very light beige and a gray, okay? And then paint your base. Paint your chairs the same color as the base of your table. That will be so easy and so beautiful. Hey, um, you missed the spot. Yeah, thanks. I was just waiting for you to tell me. Yeah, the entire back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Kelly Sheets wants to know, <laughs> could you do a light color on top and dark on the bottom. For what? You mean this? For the rocker? Yeah. I Heck yeah! Say. I can do whatever you want! And my gosh, you can totally... I have people that uh, send me pictures and I just paste the... Um, sorry, paint the base of the chair in a different color, just the legs of it. They will leave the seat maybe wooden or paint the actual seat of the chair a black or a brown and then paint the rest of the chair a different color because that's something that you can do as well. If you have chairs, just leave the seat like the natural wood color that it is, especially if you have dark dark chairs, and just put some color on by just painting the rest of it around it and leaving the seat as is. That's a way to change up your chairs. Uh, Irene, the uh, cabinets are, uh, she said, how did they turn out? She did not Ooh, see the finished yes. Yes. So that's what I was working on today. For those of you who were here uh, with me on my page earlier, uh, working in a kitchen where it's entirely um, golden oak, okay? And we're gonna go with a black island and with a beautiful cream, classic cream. I'm gonna do a little antique, which maybe I'll come on and show you guys live that part to kind of teach you how to do that a little bit. Um, but the big reveal is gonna be Sunday. And for anybody watching on here that doesn't know, because not everybody do, and I get lots of questions about it, because I get so many questions about when I paint cabinets, and we've been doing cabinets now a set a week for a year, if not more. So we're pretty versed in cabinets, and so for a few of them, I want to say six or seven of them, we took the time to actually film um, how to do certain looks. So if you guys are interested in painting your cabinets and you want to know how I use this paint and the steps I go through for cabinets, because I do a couple different things for cabinets.
cabinets, okay? Because it's your kitchen cabinets, and I want to make sure they're durable for you. And also, your kitchen gets so much use. But um, if you want anybody watching on this video, if you use the coupon code 50OFF, that's 50-5-O-O-F-F, all together, go over to styleshabby.com, click um, DIY videos, and you can use it on any of those cabinet videos. And you will you will see me painting like I am here, but I'm saying, do this. This is the first step that I do when I'm working on cabinets. And for most of the videos over there, I'm actually doing it live on site. So I'm sure that would help somebody out who has a lot of questions. Lynn Gamash says, watch out for your floor. Well, Lynn, we don't worry about any stinking floor. We have credit card. Credit card will clean it right up. Yes. It's also water-based. So yep, it'll, clean it'll up. come right off. Yeah, That's in the, cool in the first few hours. So we're good to go. Thanks, though. Yep. Uh, your cousin, Carrie Whalen, joined. Hey, Carrie. How are Say you? Say hello to Carrie. Yep. Carrie's so, up nice. north. Barbara Jocks checking in from New Hampshire. Hey, Barb. What's going oh, on? Oh, Barbara was the one who sent me. She teased me today. Do you remember I showed you that picture? Of She said, this is like a free ride roadside find. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's the same Barbara, which I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I don't know what's yeah. going on in New Hampshire, but uh, yeah. uh, we're, we're, don't, don't threaten us with a good time, Barbara. <laughs> there might be a road trip. Barbara sent us a picture of like all these goodies that were free yeah, like, by the side the of the road. Okay? Somebody done lost their mind. It is like, you know, dangling candy or yes. chocolate and going, oh, you can't have any, right? So, yeah. Anybody found any good roadside finds lately? I got to say hello to Janet from Foreman, Arkansas, and Tori Martinez checking in from Utah. Bar hey, Utah Barbara has. said it was awesome. They had dozens of tables. Oh, my God. Barbara, what was it? Like, why were they getting rid of so many pieces? Was it an office building or, um, you know, like a... A building with tenants and they just threw all their stuff outside that was a lot of furniture she brought home three and can't wait to paint <laughs> i would say uh go back and watch last night if you want my best tip on when you see dressers by the side of the road hey and, uh, pam's on can't here can't fit it in your car pam hi stranger you haven't come visited us yet oh is that pam yes is that the pam that's the pam hey pam how are you girl so pam, nice to see you come out listen see you listen listen pam when you get done. Listen, Linda. Yeah, listen, Pam. Pam, Pam, listen. <laughs> Pam, listen. So, um, when you get done with the She's farmer's right, market on Saturday, I expect to see you up here. Yes. We're, we're, we're not even a half mile from the farmer's market. So, thanks. Pam makes beautiful, beautiful Oh, dolls. she's an amazing, yeah. She weaves her, oh, yes. she does, uh, she weaves Great shawls and yep. scarves. Great shawls of fire. Yes, Great absolutely. Of fire. So, anyways, she is on fire. Hey, Nicole from Colorado and Jamie Hebert Broussard from New Iberia, Louisiana. Ooh, Louisiana in the house. Yep. So, I need to get some good. I need a crawfish oil. Is everything spicy in Louisiana? Not I've everything. never been to Louisiana, Not but I, when I think of Louisiana, I think of like spice and heat. Amber's going to the dairy yard sale some more. Oh, there must be a, a community yard sale I take it in dairy. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. Have fun. What uh, are you going to paint and find? Barbara said it's a business that cleans out hotels when they were modern. See? Yes. And these wouldn't fit on their showroom floor. Oh, what a shame, Barbara. What a yes. shame. Yes. Yes. A j jar of junk monkey will fix that. Yes. Tell us about the <laughs> Pam says doing. thanks, guys. <laughs> yes. Don't, don't, make me, don't make me yell at you some more, Pam. So, anyways. So, guys, tonight, this is day three of our 30-day paint furniture challenge. Join us every night for tips. Get to ask questions, watch a transformation happen, and uh, get some live support, okay? So, yeah, this is what happens. This is our live support line, all right, for the next 30 Hi, days. Hi, Diane. Come hang out with so, us. Anyways. And anybody who shares our video while we are live, which is, like, right now, you will be entered to win a, if you're in the U.S., we will call out the lucky winner's name here at the very end when this piece is finished and let you uh, let you pick a jar of our Everlove Junk Monkey paint. And if you're outside of the U.S., that's okay too. We will ship you a Everloved and ever sought after Junk Monkey paint t-shirt. So anyway, Jamie says not everything, but they do have lots of them good crawfish. I tell you what, Jamie, believe it or not, here in southwestern Pennsylvania, growing up, we ate a lot of crawfish, we ate a lot of turtle, we ate a lot of uh, oh, stuff that when I went to uh, Louisiana that I had some friends in the Marine Corps thought they were going to be funny and be like, oh, look at all this stuff we eat. Well, you know what? 
we had a lot of the same stuff growing up in the mountain. So uh, I disappointed them on that one. Because you ate it? Yeah, because it was good. I grew up with it. On your face. Yeah, I was like, this is great. But here's the question when you talk about turtle, okay? Yeah. Because I don't know if I can eat turtle, but let me just tell if you. If you had turtle stew, you would know, have no idea. I don't even eating. know. I mean, is there even meat on a turtle? Yeah, I'm just it's saying. delicious. It's, I don't know. That would be a lot of work. We used to have turtle. To get meat uh, off a turtle. Uh, yeah, when we do, every August, uh, we had family, Pennsylvania Dutch family in uh, York, PA, and we go down. It was a three day family reunion. I just remembered something. What? Do so you remember when I first moved to um, moved here to Pennsylvania? Moved here to Pennsylvania from Canada, from Newfoundland. Right. And um, never grew up around snapping turtles. Do you remember the time I called you and said there was a turtle in the middle of the road? When yeah, I and you were going to go grab it. And you were like, don't! <laughs> yeah. <And maybe laughs> I didn't want to get hit. Oh my God. Who, uh, who thinks I should have just left her go out there and get the <laughs> snapping turtle? <laughs> I felt bad for the turtle, okay? It was in the middle of the road, and it was he wasn't going very fast. Well, it's a and, turtle. And, uh, yeah, I felt really bad, and so I pulled over, but I didn't know what to do to get him to move faster. And uh, I called Matt and asked him what I should do, and he's just like, don't touch the turtle. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know what it was. I, I didn't really know. And I didn't know if it was a snapper or a red leg. or. No, it was a big one. It yeah. was, I think now knowing what I know was a snappy turtle, because there was no yeah. way it was that big. But anyway, I thought it would have been that big of a Oh my gosh, Janie. What? Her grandparents used to cook a turtle in sauce picante. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. See, yes, Matt's yes. background is culinary, so you're talking his love language right now. Um, but what, what, is that a spicy sauce? Yeah, yeah. See, I told you when I think of down south. It's not, it's spicy. not really spicy. It's kind of a... a I am not a good... is kind of like a tangy, like... Like, not vinegary, but you're kind of close to it. Okay. You know how I do, like, my pepper sauce for Carolina pork, pork barbecue? I think so. Yeah. If so, I remember correctly. Nancy said, I think it's a marine thing. Yeah, because we eat everything because we don't know when the next time we're going to eat it. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, she says you can make it as spicy as you want. But anyways, our family would have a big reunion uh, for three days in York County. And it was on a farm way back in the woods. And uh, we used to have bands come, and uh, we have these giant Dutch kettles that we used to cook chicken corn chowder yeah. and turtle stewing. Oh. And then we'd find like wild mushrooms, like chicken mushrooms and stuff, and have that. We spent like three days eating, you know, big feast of wild foods, crawfish, you name it. And then, uh, yeah, we even had turtle eggs too, you know. Oh. I yeah. just give me the chicken and chowder. No poor turtle. Yeah. I couldn't do the turtle. Just Possum, raccoon, basically oh whatever scattered God. around. We ate it. Oh my lord. So, yeah, so hello nice. Barbara from Orange Grove. Alright, what do you guys think so far? So I'm kinda of, I'm gonna do some distress style with it. So I don't think I wanna put any more paint on it. You see what happens when you see my see me and I'm always covered in paint. There is no way to avoid paint, okay? There's just no way. The she nice just thing is, likes to cover this is what, she <laughs> that's how I stay so young, baby. Yeah, I just rub the paint all over me every single day, and you know what? Mm. It's just like um, oil of LA. twice a day. There you go. <laughs> Karen right. said Yay. she was going to come visit to see you at the store, but then realized she was watching you live on the kitchen video. Watching me live <laughs> on the kitchen video? Oh, because she knew I was out today. Yep, that's what I was yeah. doing today, back at the shop tonight. Yeah, there's not a whole bunch of, uh, you know, I found there wasn't a whole lot of difference between Pennsylvania and Louisiana except for right. swamp. You guys had swamps, we had cornfields and mountains. Guys, did I get everything? Do you see that I did everything? Laurie says stenciling with a question mark. Heck yeah, you know it, you know it. Don't get me wrong, I love to pull out uh, my vinyl and do some cricket cutting. I, I but don't, ain't nobody got time for that tonight. I don't think we're glazing tonight. Nope, we're not glazing tonight. We're not glazing tonight. Maybe donut glazing later. That might be the only glazing in my future. Although I have had a ice cream that might be the end of it right there. Yes. Yep. So, Getting our paint goes a long way and it covers fairly easily. Yeah, I probably use out of the jar of paint that I put that I use to put this on, I would say I could probably paint um, I would say three to four rocking chairs with one jar, just to give you an idea. Okay. Using the method that I just used. So there we go. I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to jazz it up. Okay. So Matt, do some shout outs. Well, I'm saying hello to everything. See, 
Kelly Sheet says her grandparents used to do turtle stew too. Really? Yes, I told you. Oh, so my. I didn't grow up. Ashley, in thank you so much. Um, uh, lavender blush is the yep. name of the paint today. So remember, paint your spindles around. Go around town, all right? Do you do, a, do you do a pot coat? Yes. 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 yes, we will. You don't have to, especially if you do distress style, but I like to, and I'll yes. show you what I use in just a second. Hello, Norma from Illinois. So, I got to say something tonight. Yes. I'll say something. Yeah, yeah. Our friend Linda, Linda Bowery from California. I don't know what Linda's into, what? but I think she's making trouble because she's been awful quiet tonight. <laughs> yeah. uh, Janet's going to paint a large hut and a six-person dining table. Any ideas how many jars to paint? One for the hut. Without well, food in the hot chair, yeah, you should get away with one. Yeah. And tables and chairs, I'd say. How many two, chairs? Eight. How many chairs? Uh, Eight. Not a number. I'd say two or three on the chairs. Yeah, you should be fine with maybe three jars of paint, I would imagine. Yep. Yeah. Which, when you, when you think about it and do the math for 30 odd dollars. <laughs> Linda says it's hot here, that's why she's being quiet. <laughs> she's probably got her fan she's on. She's hiding Linda. in the shade. But yeah, think about uh, what you can give a transformation to for a jar of paint that's ten seventy five. Like how cool, right? How many, table, anything. How many uh, jars should I order for fourteen kitchen doors and surrounds? What type of sealer do you use for the kitchen? Tell her tell me about the cabinets. Right? Okay, we have I did really comprehensive cabinet videos. For yeah, me. we did cabinet videos of different styles, and we show you all of our tricks for the trade, how to get a professional finish. And uh, we sell those over at our website. It's uh, styleshabby.com. And. Turn the code up for half off. Yeah. Uh, if you do 50 OFF all together, you'll get half off the video. So it's like 13 bucks to get all of our tips. So, anyways. So, what was the mad and sad face about? Who did that? So. Uh, can you hold up a jar of paint? Yes, I you actually, show a actually I'll walk over to the big wall of paint. So, um, if we walk over, I will grab the loudest colored paint that I can find. Um, we sell them by the pint. Wow, 180% humidity. Yeah, I can't do humidity. I can do dry heat all day long. So, um, the paint, you just want to shake it well. There we go. But, uh, there we go. Metallic paints. We are working on formulating metallic paints, but uh, when we do work with metallics, we're gonna do one tomorrow night. Yeah, we're gonna do one tomorrow night. We actually work with uh, Rustolium and Modern Masters. We've actually done some contract work for them, so right now we'll use their uh, metallic product. Want a creamy white and distressed brown. What color paint do you suggest? Uh, wow. Antique lace or O oatmeal. That's your off-white cream colors. And then we have a candy bar brown, which is classic mm -hmm. deep brown. So, anyways. Absolutely. Lois Owen says in Owen County yep. for the next two days it's 127 oh yard sales. Oh my gosh. 127 Fine yard. AC. No, 127 yard sales. Oh, oh, I was saying 127 heat. degrees. Holy yes. moly! That's I was saying. Get your furniture. Get inside. Get AC. I yes. just paint. But the, you know what? No, go outside and find these yard sales and have fun. Lori Scott, a heat gun works better than a blow dryer. Yeah, you could. Um, yes. Oh, you have to be but here's the issue with that. For, if I'm working on a professional job, I use a heat gun. I have a whole menagerie of heat guns. Don't get have, him started on the I have heat big guns. heat guns, little heat guns. I have super hot heat guns. I have heat guns that don't get that hot. I have heat guns that will turn you into ash. But I'm going to tell you right now, you need to be super careful because if you are if you get it'll, distracted, it'll bubble your you will, uh, it'll bubble your finish. Because yeah. it's so intense, right? Yeah. So remember, when you're working with this paint, it dries very, very fast. So um, if you use a heat gun on it, because it dries fast and the heat gun is so hot, 
not only does it dry the paint, but it will actually start heating up what's underneath the paint. And that's how, like Matt said, you get the bubble finishes and stuff. Okay, yes. so now I'm doing some distressing. So if you're going to use a heat gun, yes, it works 10 times faster, but you have to be 10 times more careful. Yes, and don't burn yourself. Don't yeah, do don't it. burn yourself. Don't do what I do. Yes. Don't burn yourself. That's why I operate the heat gun. He is the, uh, yes, I let him do that. <laughs> Jennifer, where are you at? He says it's freaking hot, but we've got a storm keeping it crazy muggy. Usually here when it rains in the evening, it knocks the humidity way down, right? You guys see what I'm doing? Right now I'm gonna add some distress marks. So when you're working to make a piece um, look old, you wanna think about spots there where it would have natural wear and tear. So I'm adding some distressing in the back. So think about when somebody rocks in this chair, Maybe, you know, something they had on them, they're hitting the back of this, maybe their belt would have caught down here. So to make a piece look really authentically distressed, you wanna think about the natural places. So right here, I've put some on the arms. Can you guys see that? Right here, I've put some on the very edge down here. I'm gonna work my way around with a sand block. So in the earlier days of painting, I would use sandpaper, but let me just tell you right now, go out and just get sand blocks. Use a medium to um, a heavy grit for when you're doing distress style. And what I'm doing now is just giving the paint a polish. You see it's not coming off, right? I mean, I'm sanding it with a medium grit. So for those of you who wonder that when you use a chalk style paint, will it come off? If you're using our paint, no. I'm sanding and it's staying on the seat of this chair. And if I want it to get distressing, which I do, I'm probably gonna have to stand up and put some muscle into it, okay? So the longer this stuff is on before you're distressed, the harder it is to actually get some distressing. So, if you want a lot wait, of distress... Wait, what's that? What's that? What? 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 I think I hear the paint laughing at you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. See that? That's how you get the muscles, ladies. Uh, the muscles. Teresa, you want to restart your Facebook. Kelly wants to know if she can volunteer a piece to be painted. <laughs> Message me the piece you have in mind, Kelly. Yes. Because I know you're local. Look how pretty that looks. How nice is that? Huh. What do you guys think so far? Is working, so. so if you have some pieces that is not entirely dry right yet, which I'm working pretty fast on this piece, You're that's okay. Camera. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Earthquake! This is action cam. All right, come up to the top of here. All right, I'll come up to the top. Come up to the top. She's going to send a picture. She's what? Okay. Yeah, She's send it to my private, um, send, message it to me. Okay. I'll give you Could some you guidance. wet it again and distress that way also? Could you what? Wet it and distress it that way. No, I wouldn't recommend that you do that, but if you want to do a wet distress, you wouldn't even have to wet it. What you would do is while the paint is wet, you literally take a, um, like something that's lint free, put your finger through it, so kind of like this. I'm not gonna do it with a paper towel, of course, but let's say, for example, this was a rag. All I would do is I'd put the paint on, I'd hold it like this here, and then I would go ahead and knock off the edges just like that. Okay, no water needed. Yeah. Shelly, can you paint directly on furniture that has already been painted? Yep. And not just paint. Yes, it will stick to everything. Yep. So this has some sort of a poly on it. For those of you who know, might recognize this um, standard plain Jane. Although she ain't looking some plain Jane anymore because we're making her beautiful. We're making her look a little... Shelly says, I can't wait till you crackle. Like crackle? Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna do a night like that. Yeah, we're gonna do a crackle. Did you say crackle or crackle? <laughs> Choking. Don't get me started. Choking. You, you're gonna get me in trouble by doing that. You know what? I might that. need a bottle of wine tomorrow night. Wouldn't that be fun? Just you have we a will have a B Y O B uh, paint party, okay? All the ladies, lay back and bring your bottle of wine with you. Carry on. And I'll paint and drink wine too. Can I too? volunteer for you? Someone's gonna deliver it to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys have pieces in mind, I'd be happy to use as examples to kind of like inspire other people this month as ideas of what to do but if you do want them painted of course you know we offer a paint furniture service so send me the pictures and i'd be more than happy to give you guys a quote yeah Lori's drinking wine now i, I want to hang Lori's out. drinking wine i want to hang out with Lori. oh she makes me so jealous yes. hey amber so hello jealous. to margie from pal texas what do you guys think now we're gonna do a little distressing on the front, okay? Melissa says she'll bring the wine. <laughs> Melissa will bring the wine? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. I'm down with you, YOB. You lushes. You are all lushes. <laughs> hey, don't judge my friends. Hey, Carrie, what's going on? Which Carrie is that? Poster guard. Oh, 
the road carry. Yes. Awesome. You are now known as up the road carry. Yeah, but she lives just up the road. That sounds so. Uh, <laughs> what? That sounds terrible. Why does it say you got a terrible mind tonight? Uh, no. No, I'm you just thought I said something for the brush. Oh. And, you know, like where were you thinking? Have you been drinking wine tonight? If I started painting and drinking wine, I wouldn't want to see the color <laughs> on it. Yeah, but you know what? It will look good while you're doing it. That's the We're gonna give you some it's about the wine journey. and a brush and uh, let you do your thing, okay? Oh, just message it to our uh, Facebook page. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So don't forget, for those of you who are joining us, we're doing a 30-day paint challenge every night for 30 days. We're on here. Warm yakking it up. Yes, doing we what we do. Paint. And painting, okay? Yes. So, yeah. Did we show the piece from last night already? You can show yeah, it. Right I'm actually just right finishing behind, it up. Actually, it's right behind her. She's actually... Uh, I'll show you something on that in just a second, too. Okay. Let me That's get it. this one. We're gonna do some, we're gonna put a stencil on here. Yeah, you are about an hour. Okay, okay, just so I know what time it is. Yeah. Oh, honey, we'll be on here for hours. We ain't going anywhere. Don't, don't tell me that because I keep missing the store. And our son, if he doesn't get shaving pretty soon, <laughs> he's gonna throw you out the window. So. Uh, Linda says, BYOB, bring your own boy. Linda, you are, you are, <laughs> you are naughty. You're naughty. Welcome to Monkey Business. I'm Sonia. This is Matt. Lori Shaw says she... We don't know what happens on these paint nights. Yeah. Lori said she jumped monkey 10 pieces and she is addicted. Oh my God. I'm so yes. happy for you. Yes. Yeah, right? It's so easy to do. All right. Woo! All right. What do you think? So yeah, for those of you who wonder, does the paint come off? Have you seen me work here tonight, ladies? Right? So this is kind of twofold. When I Show do this... Show the guns. Show them the guns you got from... Well, yeah, come on. Oh, Let's yeah. go, Arnold. No, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think so. Let's go, Arnold. No, I am not. I'm going to make her flex. Let me blush. I'm going to oh, give it up. She's always flexing, going, look at his arms. Ah! From where she's doing this stuff. She's like, you know. That's what happens. That's how you get the guns ladies. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. If you like, then you should have put some paint on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, single oh, ladies. Oh, single ladies. Oh, single ladies. What's better? Oh, my goodness, Barb. What's she saying? I didn't miss That's that That's what one. she said. What? She, she like has a whole song about it. What? Oh, she does? Yeah. Oh my God. Message it to me and I will make Matt sing it, okay? I'm not, <laughs> wearing, I'm not wearing the thong again. <laughs> oh my God. Seriously, people didn't think we were weird before. You're probably thinking now. Uh, oh, well, right? Well, what are we going to do? Know. Amber, do? our shop address is 111 South Market Street, Ligonier, PA. We're just up from the fort. You yes. can't miss the fort. They got cannons and stuff. All right, guys. I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy. Cool. Let's put some on the back, too. Nancy says it's a Canadian thing. We're hard workers. That's right. That is absolutely right. You just don't know when to give it up, right? Yeah. All right, so... This is my uh, stencil um, mess. <laughs> Kelly says you are too. You two are funny, not weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's only because I take that as a compliment. Yeah, that's only because we <laughs> have. Uh, with you, not at you. Yeah, that's only because we're on Facebook. Now, if we were doing that by the side of the road, people would be like, "Look at those freaks." <laughs> this is true. This is true, right? Karaoke, wine, and monkey business. There you go. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How fun would that be, right? Sherry How says. Sh that Sherry be? says about the knee pads. Look, yes. I bought her knee pads uh, when she started working doing this stuff, and we found them downstairs. And they're downstairs. Yeah, and where are they? They're still downstairs. So we gotta go they're there. Them. So you give her, you give her help. Heck. Don't give me help. All right. <laughs> so let's make this pretty. Okay, I've changed the subject. Karen no, says, do you I have, have a dragonfly stencil? Do I have the what? A dragonfly stencil. No, I don't think I do, but uh, maybe I do somewhere. I do have a lot of stencils. I'm going to tell you, I love to save my stencils. These are bigger than the actual bag I hold them in, but I literally just leave it sitting <laughs> open like this. Um, if you guys love to paint furniture, go out and get yourselves a stencil holder, okay? This is what this is actually called. Like I said, these are sticking out. You could really close it if you wanted to, but I leave mine open like an accordion because I'm always pulling them out. But um, I have tons of stencils. Let's look at this one. I haven't used this one. 
Uh, this one's still new. We'll have to do something. I love you to the moon and back, right? So you can see on here, I pay all of $2.99 for them. I go to Hobby Lobby. I use, if they're not on sale, that I use my coupon and get them for 40% off, which is awesome. Yeah. Can't beat that. And you can clean them and use them again and again. Okay? If you get cardboard, yes, you can use them again and again. But the um, plastic ones, are they just last longer because they don't get so, um, you know, just after paint being on them for a while, they can get a little nasty. Lori right. said TMI. What? Well, if you can't share with your friends, then who can you share with? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Heck yeah. What's it saying? Well, just wait trust until <clears throat> Deb Coleman said, just wait until you finish each other's sentences every time you have a conversation. <laughs> like this way we're. Look, we've been together 20 years. And um, <clears throat> I've, I've purposely been avoiding that. Uh, You've been avoiding me? No. Well, I could be. <laughs> so, I'm uh, sorry. I'm just messing with you now. Uh, anyway. Uh, Cindy Sildania. Yes. Uh, first time That's thinking what brand of paint do you use? We use our own brand called Junk Monkey Paint. Let's see if I get this on yes. even. Yep. Junk Monkey Paint. You don't have the primer, sand, or prep. Um, we always say just grab a brush and go to it, which is what I'm doing. This is a 30-day challenge. All kinds of pieces of furniture are going to go down over the next 30 days. I don't even know what half of them are. I'm just kind of finding pieces that I have in my stash and uh, giving them total transformation. So this tonight I'm going to put a stencil on because um, here's something I've done before when I've worked on um, nursery rockers for people. You can go out and you can actually find wooden pieces that are in similar shapes and glue them on and paint them as part of your piece and distress them. But you can also add detail with stencils. So this is what I'm going for tonight. This is one of my favorite stencils here. I just love how... Um, I don't know just how classy it looks right so again I'm just using a chip brush guys oh my god I'm gonna start that again tonight the dab dab dabs dab 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 that's that's brush 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 yes exactly dab, 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 when dab, I start dab, to do dab, this dab, it kind of it kicks into uh, sound effect uh, mode dab 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 exactly the, the key is not to have too much on your brush so if you do the dab dab dabs Dab, what dab, happens dab, 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 is dab, dab, dab. Brush, 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 brush. exactly you can uh, put as much on as you need and build it up but don't go at your piece with too much paint on it because it will bleed and you will hate yourself okay bleeding is what's called when it runs outside the stencil runs under the stencil lines and then you're left with a blah 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 okay so do the dab 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 and uh, just kind of get it off your brush very very lightly and I think we're good. So you guys will see that this is my key brush that I use for stenciling and painting. And I am all about um, furniture transformations on a budget. You know, you can make things beautiful without having to break the bank and spend a ton of money. Yes, Sherry, that is also our black paint that we stencil with. Ta-da! So. Oh my God, stand back, people. Stand back, get ready, because I'm going to tip this chair upright and... I think I'm going to put something on the actual seat, too. What do you guys think? Gaylene says she makes stencils because of limited funds out of lunch rack. Take a look. Come over here. Take a look. I'm coming. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm oh. so excited. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Out. Got that right, Barb. All right. What part? Awesome. Love, 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 love. They love the stencils. Yay. All right. I'm going to use the same stencil. So you notice how I didn't even have room to put the rest of the stencil, but I just used it. So this can dry. I can even distress this a little bit more if I want. I'm going to let it dry, okay? And uh, yeah, stand back over there so you can really see the full effect. But I think I'm gonna well, I'm put maybe. I'm trying not to cast a shadow. Okay, can you stand over here, maybe? I'm a big man. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. <clears throat> Where shall we put this? We can go in the center, but I don't think I want to go in the center with it. I just don't. I think I just kind of want to lay it off the edge. Well, then it's gonna be off kilter. Yes, it is. No, no, no. See, you can't... no, no, no. I think I want it running off the balance. edge. Balance, balance. Dude, it is balanced. It's not balanced. It is. She's killing me. It's artistic She's balance. Killing me. It's artistic balance, okay? That's not... All right, do you trust me? Okay, so here's the fun thing, too. If you hate it, if you hate it, just paint over it, okay? All right, just just go back to your dab, 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 okay? Dab, 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 All right, there you go. All right, so now this is what I'm doing over here. To add a little bit, so it's going to match, because the body doesn't, it looks kind of plain yet still, right? So I'm going to add in a little bit more of this. Has anybody out there used stencils before, and do you love it as much as me? I'm going to create a stencil movement and bring back the stencil and tell you that you don't need a Cricut, Hang even on. though I have one, on. I don't one use it second. very often. Look, we're, but, we're going for a far shot. We're going for a far shot. Where are you going? i got to do something. Okay. So, anyways. Um, all right, all right. So, anyways. So, <laughs> Barb Slade. Um, what's she saying? 
They're saying don't center it. Don't center it. Don't exactly. Center it. I didn't, yes. right? I just kind of put it off kilter, off to the side. Just to give it a little flare, right? You know what I'm saying? A little flare. A little flare there. All right. Yes. I love it. I'm loving it so, so much. By the way, if you're local, I do have stencils for sale here in my shop. They're $8.99. And you can shop my favorite stencil stash. And I have some really cool ones that, I, that you've seen me do on furniture, okay? Just to let you know. Because like I say, if you want to do this, if you want to paint furniture, not even for yourself, but even to sell, get some stencils and start a stencil stash. All right? You need to do that. Go over the edge. Go over the edge. I this will. isn't... Hey, this isn't Niagara Fall, guys. What? What's wrong? You're going, go over the edge. Do yes, it. Yes, that's do a great it, idea. It. That's a great idea, right? Yes. yes. So we're doing the dab, dab, dab. We're just Barb taking it slow. Slate. We're taking it slow. Barb Slate really wants to see me. Really wants to see you? Yes. I mean, <laughs> you see this? That doesn't sound I'm, strange. I'm going to show you a picture, Barb. Are you ready? That, does, that doesn't sound strange. I'm, I'm going to show you okay, a picture. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, you ready, Barb? <laughs> this is me. I, I feel like I recognize that guy. Who is he? Oh, it's you, right? Yeah. It's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that like Johnny Bravo or something? Johnny Bravo, yeah. What, where is that from? I don't even know. What's your name? Is it really? Back in the day, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Do I remember that from our cartoon days? Yes. With our son? Yes. Oh my god, I think I, I think I like tried to like was traumatized and tried to uh, um, forget about it. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, what's funny though is I, I do kind of oh, resemble nice. Johnny Bravo. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You nut. Oh guys, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, now you're gonna have to do one on the other uh, side. No, we're not. We're gonna leave it just like that. Yeah, I know, Sal. It's it's tough being this hot. Yes. <sighs> what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, my God. I'm absolutely loving this. Amber loving, said loving video fun. froze on her. That's because I shoot a picture of myself, you know? <laughs> you're, you're, you melted the yeah, camera you're, screen. You're, you're, your video just couldn't handle it. You melted the camera yes, screen. Absolutely. What are we going to do with you? Guys, what do you think of the chair? Do you remember the brown and frowny chair? Now it's a beautiful, lush, pretty, hush, lavender, and we added a stencil on it. I didn't even put the full stencil, but I kind of mirrored it to make it work at the top oh, and at the you, bottom. Barbara. And like, how gorgeous is that? Give him a walk around. Give him a walk around. I, I, I can't walk around too much. Cool, cool, cool. Can you guys see this? Is yeah, it coming through it. okay? You, yeah, you, please. Yeah, there you go. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh my gosh. So if you have a rocking chair, needs a color, guys, you know, how cool would it be even if you have a chair and you do it teal, you do it whatever color you want, red, and you put a really, really cute, um, go out and find yourself a really cute um, pillow to put in the back of it. I'm telling you, in the corner of a room would absolutely look gorgeous. Or even if you have them for outside, yes, you can use the paint outside. Like say, for example, you have a covered porch and you have some rockers. Paint them in some fun junk monkey styles and just get some of those outdoor fabric pillows and put in them absolutely beautiful. So I am going to seal this. And so I'm kind of want to use the project that I did last night as an example to seal as this set to the person who asked me about sealer. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick, quick tip over here. So who's still with me? What's everybody saying? Are you learning something new that you did Everybody's not know before? It. People are saying they're good. Carol said she's so glad you found your videos. Yay. Uh, uh, makes me happy. Actually. Uh, Barbara Maris has started to use the stencils after seeing you good on the deal, live, good deal. and you inspired me. They're we cheap and they're beautiful. Yes. Absolutely. We, we really appreciate it's all awesome the kind combo. words. We yep. really do. It's what keeps us doing this. Um, if you guys oh, weren't so awesome and support us, we wouldn't have been doing this for yes. as long as we have. So we do this full time. Believe it or not, this is a hobby that um, has grown into a full time business for us. So let me just tell you guys, if you have a dream, if you want to have your own business, there is no reason you cannot have your own business. Okay. And let me just tell you as well, while I'm on this note, that I mentioned over the last two nights that I'm working on putting together some sort of a group or a course to help people who want to, you know, you stick with me this month, you learn how to paint furniture, but then what do I do? So if you want to make some extra money for Christmas, how to market yourself. So type interested below if you might be interested in. Um, teaming up to kind of be in a group with me to learn how to market your painted furniture because it is tough because there's so many furniture painters out there but um, I'll share with you some of my my best ways to market and get your stuff in front of other people so they can fall in love with it right so speaking of fall in love who was on here last night when they saw this bench that I painted 
This, um, actually, flip around real fast. This was project number one. We painted this in a smoky coal. Do you guys check out that uh, stand over there? You remember that? I still have yet to put the hardware on, so let me tell you. And then we did this awesome piano bench, okay? So last night we talked about how to fix a bleed through. We did this really cool stencil, and I talked about how to change the top on it. We did a little bit of glazing, excuse me, as an example. And so before I seal, which I'll show you here in a second, I want to tell you something. Some people ask, you know, uh, what kind of paint is it? Is it a chalk style paint? And it is. What that means, for those of you who don't know, that the paint is on here. You saw me put a black paint on here last night, okay? Now I'm taking a sand block and I'm giving it a smooth over. I'm giving it a polish. So if I wanted to distress it, I would go with a, like I say, a medium to a coarse grit. If I just want to polish a piece, you can even stick with a fine grit. But um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice smooth over. It knocks off any sort of gritty pieces that, come, that may come out of the paint, hairs from the brushes, that sort of thing, okay? But do you see how this mute it down? Can you guys see that on here? Is that doing a good job of seeing it? Okay, so when I say it is a chalk style paint, this is what I mean, okay? So I can totally, oh, I know what I'm gonna draw. I haven't drawn this for a long, long time. Uh, oh God, that looks bad, doesn't it? It looks really, really bad, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I can I'm trying to remember how to draw my, my dog. Oh my God, I can't even remember. I used to do a really cool dog. All right, but do you see what I'm doing? Do you see what I'm doing? I'm actually, drawing on my piece, okay? And everybody's like, oh my God, you're drawing on your piece. But it is truly a chalk style paint. So some people use their paints to paint old refrigerators. The kids can practice the address on it. They, young girls come in, they'll use a really cool, um, pick a color, like maybe a teal color, paint a bedroom wall, and then them and their friends can just have fun and do that sort of thing. And um, do you need me? Oh, okay, my phone's done. Oh, we better go quick. Okay, so anyway, I just wanted to show you that, but I can seal it, okay? So this can come off. So you can make a chalk top table for your kids if you wanted to. How cool is that? Okay, go ahead. Hey, Jamie Todd, you're late. <laughs> hey, girl. But do you see this nice vibrant color that's underneath here? Because that's the true color of the paint, right? So now when we talk about sealing, what we can do is go ahead and open our sealer show a picture of the front of that. This is a Minwax polyacrylic. It is a satin, which is my favorite to use. And um, it dries clear, look for the blue later label, water-based, and then watch what happens if you want to pop back up here. So you've sanded off your piece, you've polished it, you've decided you don't want to just leave it as a chalkboard finish. You can totally just go over it, okay? So this is what happens, woo! You're actually bringing that paint back to life. So when you work on pieces, um, and you give them a little sand over, a little buff over. Now when you actually go to paint over it, it's going to bring that beautiful color back. So what do you guys think of this? Oh my gosh. So this is the piece we did last night. We put a black on the top of it, and I'm going to show you, like I said, what yeah, I did this Yeah, once you seal the piece, uh, you won't be able to yep. do chalk. Yep, and this will then dry much. clear, okay? Yeah. Yep. So you just choose yourself. Do you want a chalk top? Or do you want to go ahead and seal it so you have a fully finished uh, piece of furniture? It's really up to you guys. But you saw how much I sanded that rocker tonight, so you know how good of a grip the paint has, okay? So we gotta do a winner before we lose our charge here on our yes. phone, all right? So go do your thing. Actually, do. yeah. So remember, anybody who shares this video while we're live has an opportunity to be entered to win a jar or junk monkey paint. If you're outside of the U.S., we'll ship you, if you're the lucky winner, a t-shirt from our Jump Funky Paint Company. So we would love it if you would share. Also share, just to share, because if it helps somebody in your life, if it helps you, um, we're sharing some great tips here tonight, right? We have a winner. Okay, who's our winner? Our winner is... Yes. Valicia. Valicia. Jay Salter. Valicia Salter. All right, are you on here, girl? We're going to give you a minute or two to respond. Remember, you have to be on here live. If you do not respond, we will pick a, another winner. Okay, we'll yep. find it. You have two minutes, Felicia. All right. Come over and check it out. Come over and check it out. I love it. How many what do you guys think of this one? How many coats of poly do you generally use? I would use your piece of furniture one, maybe two, if you really think you need it, if it's a piece that's going to get a lot of use. Mm. Remember, if you do something in distress style, you're wanting it to look worn anyhow, so you can put just one coat on it and do some distressing and let it be. Let it be, okay? Oh, All this right. is so cool. Mm. I'm loving this over here. Felicia J. Salter. You're running out of time, girl. Get to All me. All right, tell us. If Get to me. Alicia, tell her to message us right now while we're live to claim her free jar of paint. Free jar of paint. Oh, my gosh. I love this. Who absolutely loves, loves this? 
Do you guys have a favorite so far? So was it the, the gray stand, the yeah. secretary, that everybody said, don't paint, well, not everybody, but you know how you always get people who say, don't paint wood. We did the best oh, last Oh, she's night. here. Hello, Malaysia. And Rocker. All right. Yes. Okay, girl, all we need you to do is message us as soon as this broadcast ends. And we will on go ahead page. Yep, on our Facebook page. It's Sonia and Shabby Sheep. You got it. Page. So right here on this Facebook page, when we when this video ends here in a few minutes, what I want you to do is message us and uh, tell us the color that you want, okay? So we won't put you on the spot. You may know your color off the top of your head. If you want to browse, hit the Shop Now button, the blue button on our Facebook page. It'll take you to our store, and you'll see all the colors. And we have tons of them, neutrals, so different, bold, fun colors. So you can pick whatever you want. And are you in the U.S., girl? Because if you are, that means that you did the paint. But if you're outside of the U.S. borders, we'll just send you a really cool T-shirt. So let us know, okay? Sound good? So thank you so much for joining me here. Be here for night number three. Are you guys having fun? Are you having fun? Please let me know if you are, because I'm having fun. Matt's having fun. I think we're having fun. She and I hope thinks you're learning I'm having stuff fun. <laughs> this is my idea of fun. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. But all right, we're going to be back on here again tomorrow with project number four. I'm going to find something from the basement to paint. But anyway, it's furniture all month long here on our page. And I uh, just want to say thank oh, you so much for Pittsburgh. joining us. Oh, cool. we're even close. Okay, cool. Well, you can yeah. decide if you want to come out yeah, and pick and it up in person. Or we'll ship it to you. Yeah, or we'll ship it to you one or the other, okay? And for anybody else, we do ship all over the country. It's $15, so much cheaper than flying in. We do have months. a barn red. It's called Red Garnet. Yep, absolutely. Yes. It's a dark one. We also have another one called... Um, Red Apple. Yep, and we also have a ranch brick that I've got to put back yep. out. Yes. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a terrific evening. I will talk to you soon. In fact, I'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya. See ya. Bye.